Hello everyone, welcome to my tour of my doll room, or my doll's little display area. It's actually on the second bookcase, second shelf on my bookcase, so there's a lot of stuff everywhere. But anyways, this is mostly for my EOSD dolls and my A-Zone, but sometimes even my little mini fee hangs out here because it's just a very convenient place to set them down. So. This is a little overview of the room and I'm going to take my dolls out so you can see the room in a little bit more detail. So before I get started with things, I thought I'd let you know a little bit about why this room is as cluttered as it is. So meet C. He is my darling Soldo Sweet Rambi on a Crowby doll E-line body. Sadly the sculpt is discontinued but maybe you can find on the second hand market if you're really looking for him. He's wearing a wig from eBay with some enchanted doll eyes. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they're blue and green with a little bit of yellow around the edges. He's wearing a Ken doll sweater, my, or a Ken doll cardigan my mom had given me. A little sweater I made myself. He's always working in that black choker. A little ring. A well-worn bag with some stickers I got from his face-up artist. Some shoes from eBay and some pants from eBay as well. So the reason I'm talking about C so much is because this is his room. C is a collector. C loves to hoard things. He's also a bit tricky though you can't really see it. So first off, yeah, I know this room it looks a little bit cluttered, but mostly it's just a assortment of things I've collected through my entire life that I thought would fit well in this room. So even though there's a lot of stuff, most of it has a very specific meaning behind it. Then I'll tell you a little bit more about each of the pieces as we go along. Actually, I don't know if you can tell, but this room is a little bit incomplete. There's still this kind of blank canvas, like blank uh, window here that I mean to fill with a photo of some kind of scenery. And the wall isn't completely lined, but I haven't worked on it in a while. And this is going to be just a little step-by-step, -step, a little progress shot of where I am with my my little collection of things. So I guess I'll start from the left and make my way to the right. So this is a little, I think it was a makeup pad case that was this black color, but I have kind of painted over it to give it more of a wood texture and a wooden color. On top of it, here's some candles that I cut down to size. And down here are some colored pencils and some miniature animals. And this is also some colored pencils that I got at Iwajimaya or um, the bookstore inside at Kinokunya. There's little pencils in there and they're more of an MSD sized but this is where all my dolly props go. So this guy, there's a funny story about him. I actually got this body at a doll meet and it is, in a, it is an obitsu body and when I got it, they were for free. This, this nice woman was giving them out and I was like, oh, I would really like that body because I think I I just like it. I like free things. And this, and so I was like, okay, okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the head for it. But I got a Daiso, and I saw these little uh, plush keychain things, and I stuck it on his head with a little bit of uh, wire. And we have our little bunny. We have our bunny man, our naked bunny man, because I refuse to give him clothes. He just looks so funny. And here's a little teddy bear, a teddy bear from like a doll collection of some sort. So this here is a little, this little charm and I thought it was really cute because I really like cherubs as I've said before. And there's a little cherub on this. I got this in Butte, Montana. So there's a picture of me on my birthday years ago. Real beauty is laughing until your stomach hurts. I don't know how old I was turning. I can't see the candles. But I guess I was very happy and I like this picture of myself. So he gets it in my room. So I made this at the hospital when my little sister was being born. She was premature. So they had little activities for the moms to do. And it's just this child on it. And it's about this woman who can't have a child. I thought it was I thought it was just really fun to make. It's just a collage of pictures with some copper foil around the outside. Here is my, here we go. Here's my doll's bed with a dirty watch pillow. 
and a Bratz pillow. This is just some more things. Here's a bottle of pills I made out of a straw and a button. Oh no, I made out of a straw and a button. Yeah, and a little Barbie passport, some Okane. Oh yeah, little little box full of more parts for my dolls. This little plush wallet I got when I was really young. And this little box my grandma had gotten me from Montana. And this is actually a rug. And this is my doll's pillow. And this is a bed I made using one of those My Foggy Stuff tutorials. It's literally made out of popsicle sticks and clothes hangers. I think it's super cute and I really like it. I love the polka dots. Yeah, so this is this bed. And up here, up here, my room is illuminated by two LED lights. So the room is illuminated by two LED lights. The ones that you just kind of stick on and you just replace the battery when they die. Out here. Right up here are some clothes hangers. A little, some, I don't know how to call this. Down here is some thread, I guess. I don't know what kind of thread it is. I forgot what it's called. That has clothes hangers, a little mistletoe, some clothes, some uh, hangers that I made out of my favorite thing. What are they called? Clo clippers? What are they called? Paper clips. I made out of paper clips using a little metal wire cutter and some meter nose pliers. And here's some dog tags I made for my doll. A long time ago. They're just what they are. Little dog tags. Why would you focus on anything? Little dog tags. This is a little thing I got with my Azone because he was a Mad Hatter version, but I do not need a cup because he is not a Mad Hatter. He is a little wizard. That's that. Up here, I have two sets of Christmas lights. So what I do is if I don't ever wear earrings, I put them on the outside. This kind of dangle there. These are from Hobby Lobby. These are a little present from a friend. Some more earrings I got from my grandmother. And yeah, that's about, that is my doll room. So that's about all that goes into it. Yep. I'm very satisfied with it. I think it's really cute. It really fits my dolls. It's really convenient to have because I can just put anything anywhere and just looks like a bit of a mess, but I like it. So thanks guys. If you have any questions about anything here, don't, don't be shy. Feel free to drop a message or leave a comment. So I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you. So one of C's favorite things is stories. C loves to collect things that remind him of little stories. Or things just... That just excite him. He loves, loves, loves just things. There's a lot more to C's story than him just being a bit of a hoarder. But I'll have to save that for another video. Because this video will be way too long if I try to get into that now. So right, C welcomes you to his room.